Good evening, Glenda Allen. Such a touching moment tonight between two families, one family that lost everything and another family determined to make a difference. It's a good feeling because you know that somebody out there knows that you're going through a tough time. It's been a heartbreaking month for 16 year old Alexis Fernandez, his mother, Alique Lopez, and Alexis's two younger siblings. Back on November 20th, two unknown arsonists set fire to a vacant home next door to them in southwest Detroit. And those flames quickly destroyed Alexis's house as well. The family unfortunately had lost their entire home along with all their belongings due to a house fire. Uh, it was an act of arson uh, an abandoned house next door. While the family has been staying with friends, their story, which we first brought you on 7 Action News, got the attention of food truck owner Bianca Paywan. Parked on Michigan Avenue, the native of southwest Detroit and her husband decided to load up on gifts for the kids so they can still celebrate Christmas. 12 outfits per child. Uh, we got a telescope, a couple of drones, we got Nerf guns. Uh, we got school supplies, book bags. And to make it even more special, Bianca's also making sure this family gets a delicious dinner made with love. Hibachi dinner, so they're going to have hibachi chicken with the traditional fried rice, grilled vegetables, and the uh, spring roll to top it off. Caught up with emotion, asking her son to translate. Alexis's mother, Alik, is making it known just how much this gesture means to her. She just wants to give thanks to all the people that are out there helping us through these hard times. I love to give back to the community. That's one thing about our family. Our food truck is a family base. Now that family is still working to save up money to get a new home. There is a GoFundMe page devoted to helping them, and we'll put a link to that on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting live, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Back